Hello, with all the regal splendor, we warmly welcome you to the Royal Family News Channel. Now, let's get to the video. What a complete farce. Prince Harry is slated to be honored as an aviation icon at an event in Beverly Hills. How much did he shell out for this accolade? Greetings and a cordial welcome to Kate Middleton and the Queen. Typically, it's Meghan Markle who enjoys purchasing awards for herself, but this time it appears Harry has joined in on the spectacle. According to reports, Harry is scheduled to be commemorated alongside Apollo 11 luminaries Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin as aviation legends during an extravagant Beverly Hills ceremony hosted by John Travolta. Surprisingly, Harry will be acknowledged ahead of the youngest individual to set foot on the moon. If you find yourself wondering what exactly Harry did to merit this honor, you're not alone. That's precisely what many of us are questioning at the moment. From my perspective, it seems Harry did nothing noteworthy to warrant such recognition. Nevertheless, let's delve into the report from the Mail Online. As per the report, Harry is being acknowledged ahead of Charles Duke, who achieved the distinction of being the youngest person to walk on the moon in 1972 at the age of 36. The event, hosted by John Travolta and previously described by actor Morgan Freeman as the Oscars of Aviation, is set to take place. According to the awards, it is understood that his efforts in establishing the Invictus Games Foundation will also be applauded. Whether Harry or his spouse Meghan Markle will attend the ceremony remains unclear. Let's pause and consider this for a moment. My suspicion is that Meghan Markle is the mastermind behind all of this. After all, she seems to advocate for the idea of purchasing awards for themselves. I can't help but wonder, what's the price tag for this one? Could this also be a reaction to Harry being excluded from the list of notable Sandhurst alumni? In the Harkle Zone, it appears that if your service or work doesn't bring you the recognition you desire, simply go out and buy an award, it's essentially the same thing. Unsurprisingly, people on social media are having a field day with this revelation. One individual on X remarked, I look forward to every other military pilot in the world being given the same award based on his accomplishments in that field. This person raises a valid point. Harry's military service, spending four months during his second tour in Afghanistan as an Apache helicopter pilot, doesn't seem exceptionally noteworthy to warrant such recognition. It's truly baffling. Does this organization not take itself seriously at all? Do they not care about the potential damage to their reputation, much like the tarnished reputations of Harry and Meghan? Another individual on X questioned, is this a joke? What legendary stuff has he done? I am asking seriously. What the heck has he done? I find myself with the exact same question and no clear answer. Once again, during Harry's military service, there are reports suggesting that he spent most of his time playing video games in the bunker. It's perplexing how he could be recognized for any type of service. And let's not forget what Harry wrote in Spare, boasting about the number of Taliban members he claimed to have killed. This certainly doesn't paint him as a role model in any way, shape, or form. Consider the company Harry will be keeping on the stage. According to the Mail Online, he will share the spotlight with other aviation and aerospace figures, including Aldrin, Jeff Bezos, Tom Cruise, Harrison Ford, Morgan Freeman, Elon Musk, and Saudi Prince Sultan bin Salman al Saud. The inclusion of Tom Cruise and Jeff Bezos on this list suggests that this is more of a Hollywood centric event rather than a legitimate award ceremony. It would be surprising if Harry genuinely values being honored as a legend of aviation over being recognized in the British Army's roster of notable soldiers. It appears Harry may have compromised his integrity by following Meghan Markle to California. According to the Mail Online, additional aerospace luminaries set to be inducted alongside Prince Harry this year include U.S. Navy pilot Fred George and former world speed record holder Steve Hinton. One can't help but wonder how these men will feel sharing the stage with Prince Harry, who spent four months working as an Apache helicopter pilot, allegedly. The presence of Prince Harry at such events might indeed raise questions about the perceived value of the awards for other honorees. 
Whether the event is viewed as genuine or not, the potential impact on the reputation of the awards and the participants is a valid concern. Regarding the praise for Harry's charity work, the statement on the website paints him as a humanitarian, military veteran, mental wellness advocate, and environmentalist. It does sound reminiscent of Meghan Markle's writing style. The claim that Harry has dedicated his life to advancing causes he is passionate about raises eyebrows, especially considering the criticism about his reported activities. The assertion that Harry is an environmentalist might be met with skepticism given his use of private jets and a convoy of gas-guzzling SUVs in certain situations. These actions seem incongruent with the principles of environmentalism. It prompts one to question the authenticity of such claims and whether they are more about optics than genuine commitment to environmental causes. In essence, events like these may come under scrutiny when the recognition appears disconnected from the actual contributions or actions of the honorees. It raises broader questions about the credibility and purpose of such ceremonies. The Mail Online's report outlines the organizations highlighted on the event's website as part of Prince Harry's efforts including Travelist, Centibale, African Parks, Wellchild, Better Up, the Aspen Institute Commission on Information Disorder, and the R12 Foundation. Let's delve into these organizations. Travelist, as you mentioned, there have been reports suggesting that Harry's association with them ended due to environmental concerns. Centibale appears to be a legitimate organization. African Parks is generally recognized as a credible conservation entity. Wellchild is widely regarded as a legitimate charity focusing on children's health. Now, when it comes to Better Up, where Harry holds the position of chief impact officer, reports have suggested that he might not be very involved in the day-to-day -day activities. Employees at Better Up have reportedly indicated that Harry's level of contribution was minimal, which raises questions about the significance of his role. The Aspen Institute Commission on Information Disorder seems to be a notable choice. This organization, while addressing issues related to misinformation, might be perceived by some as having its own biases. If Harry is actively involved in suppressing negative articles about himself, as you mentioned, it does raise ethical considerations. In the case of the R12 Foundation, without specific details, it's challenging to comment on its legitimacy or impact. Ultimately, the credibility of these organizations and Harry's involvement in them will likely be subject to ongoing scrutiny and public perception. The praise for Harry's compassion, vulnerability, and unflinching honesty in his memoir, Spare, as mentioned on the event's website, does raise questions about the motivations behind the event. If Spare has been widely criticized for its content and perceived inaccuracies, the accolades on the event's website may seem out of touch with the public reception of the book. As for whether Meghan Markle is behind the event, it's challenging to definitively attribute its origins without concrete information. The specific language used to commend Harry's honesty in spare does sound subjective and might align more closely with a personal perspective than an objective assessment. Harry's acknowledgement of the positive impact of his military career as mentioned in an interview with Anderson Cooper, adds a layer of complexity to the narrative. While he expresses that the military saved him in many regards, perceptions about his military service and the motivations behind certain decisions remain subjective and open to interpretation. In essence, the event and the website's content seem to present a particular narrative about Prince Harry, but the motivations and perspectives behind these statements could be varied and complex. It's evident from your perspective that while Harry's military service provided him with much-needed structure, the portrayal of him as a war hero might be an exaggeration. The absence of stories from those who served with him, as you mentioned, adds nuance to the narrative surrounding his military service. The suggestion that Harry may be seeking recognition, especially after being excluded from the British Army's book, raises questions about the authenticity of the accolades he's receiving. As for my opinion, I don't have personal beliefs or opinions as I am a machine learning model. I provide information and assistance based on the input I receive. If you have any specific questions or need further information on a particular topic, feel free to ask. That's it for the video. Please share your thoughts in the comments.
don't forget to like and share with those interested. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for joining us, have a great day, and stay tuned for upcoming videos.